Pleased to be joined by Ridley Gregg of the Brandon Wheat Kings. He's the 28th overall selection of the Ottawa Senators at the 2020 NHL Draft. Ridley, first off, congratulations. How does it feel to have uh, had your name called by the Ottawa Senators? Yeah, uh, obviously pretty exciting and uh, happy experience for my family. Uh, I know uh, a couple of days ago we had quite a bit of family over and my phone's kind of still blown up, so definitely a pretty exciting experience. Uh, you know, a little bit of a different experience from what we're used to seeing at the NHL draft, uh, you know, just given the circumstance we find ourselves in. But, you know, you talked about being able to have a, a large group of family together. Um, you know, how special was it for you to be able to share that moment with that group of family, uh, knowing that, you know, in normal circumstance, you might not have had the same group together? Yeah, it was definitely uh, pretty special. I think uh, one of them was saying this is probably one of the most unique drafts of all time. So just to have all the family, 20, 25 people over to kind of share that experience and give hugs to everyone, I think uh, just to kind of share it with them, it was pretty special. So you get to join a, a Canadian team. Uh, you stay in Canada, joining the Senators. Um, you know, how special is it or how cool is it knowing that you're heading to the nation's capital uh, and you get to continue playing hockey in Canada? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Uh, my grandparents, my mom were kind of pretty excited just to, so I could stay in Canada. And uh, I don't know why, but just so it may be an easy flight or something. But uh, yeah, just to kind of share that with them and then uh, being in Canada with Ottawa. Uh, I'm not too familiar with it. I think I've only been there once, but uh, I can't wait to get out there and kind of just get things going. What do you know about the Senators as an organization or, or what have you maybe learned over the last couple of days since uh, Tuesday night? Yeah, we, we've had a kind of welcome Zoom call the other day and uh, they're definitely pretty excited, excited to, to have me. And I know a couple of guys kind of already texted me and Brady to Chuck and uh, Thomas are texting me already. So just to kind of have a text from them was pretty special. So uh, pretty exciting. You're not the only Brandon Wheat King to be drafted by the Senators this year. Your teammate Cole Reinhardt, uh, here's his name called later on in the draft. Uh, how exciting is it to, to have a buddy heading to Ottawa with you and, you know, getting to share that experience with him, uh, not only this week, but moving down the line. Yeah, definitely pretty cool to just kind of know someone already that, that uh, was drafted the same team. Uh, I know he's pretty excited too. So, and then another guy, Jake Sanderson, who I kind of grew up with buddies, uh, he was drafted there. So I called him after the draft and he was pretty fired up too. So just to kind of share it with them, uh, it's definitely pretty special. Now, I want to take it back to this past season. You had an incredible year with the Wheat Kings, 60 points in 56 games. It was a breakout year for you on the ice. Uh, you look back uh, on 2019-20, even though it was probably feels like forever ago. It does to me. Um, you know, what allowed you to have some success on the ice in Brandon with the Wheat Kings? Yeah, I think uh, probably the main reason I think was probably just the connection I had with uh, my coach, Dave Lowry there. Uh, you know, he, he kind of trusts me on the ice. He gave me lots of opportunity. And I think kind of just the way we play and the way I play really kind of connected really well. And then uh, in the second half there, our team kind of just took off. And, uh, you know, my success kind of just came with the team there. So, uh, yeah. You talk about Dave Lowry. This was his first year behind the bench in Brandon. Um, you know, how much of an impact did he have, not only on you, but on the club? Uh, you know, obviously he brings an incredible amount of experience from uh, a variety of different levels. He's been in the pro game as a player and a coach. He's coached at the world junior level. Um, so, you know, a lot of knowledge that I'm sure he brought to the table for you. Yeah, for sure. I think our whole team kind of just bought in. And for a guy who has just so much respect and experience, uh, everyone kind of just listened to what he said and was really just uh, under his foot and just kind of drove off with him. Uh, and then obviously there in the second half, I know we had a slow start, but the uh, second half we kind of just bought in, kind of really just started rolling there with that 10 game winning streak. So and then after that, we kind of just knew we were going to start winning games more. So now obviously I'm sure part of the focus is to start preparing uh, to, you know, do what you need to do to become a full-time NHL player one day here. I, uh, when you look at that, uh, you know, what areas of your game are you focused on or, or what is it that you're, you're hoping to, to work towards in order to achieve that ultimate goal? Yeah, I think uh, just for right now, the main thing I'm working on is just kind of getting my weight up and my strength. Uh, you know, last year I was kind of just maybe getting knocked off the pucks a little bit or kind of a weaker guy, but uh, just kind of getting my weight up and uh, my, my strength so I can kind of be stronger on the ice. 
All right, last question I'll ask you and, and then I'll leave you to it here. Um, you know, we're obviously, we exist in a little bit of an uncertain time. Uh, we don't really know when hockey is going to start up again. We're looking at December in the Western League. The NHL has said that they're looking at January for a return to hockey. Um, so, you know, with all that in mind, what's next for you? What are you doing to kind of fill the time in between and make sure that you're ready to go uh, no matter when you get the call to step back on the ice? Yeah, for right now, I think everyone's kind of just kind of just got to stick to the training plan. And uh, I know I'm going back with the Brandon next week and I'm just going to be training five times a week and then I'm on the ice four or five times a week as well. So just kind of keep on building my game and uh, hopefully just kind of run with it. Perfect. Well, really, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Congratulations on being selected by the Ottawa Senators. And you know, we certainly wish you the best of luck and look forward to seeing you back on the ice again one day soon. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for having me.